governor of Edo State, Godwin Obaseki, is one of the candidates contesting in the upcoming election at the state. He recently decamped from the All Progressive Congress Party to People's Democratic Party after disqualification from participating in the party primary election. He was able to secure the ticket as the flag bearer of the PDP in the forthcoming gubernatorial election. The campaign team of the governor has been busy canvassing for votes from the people of Edo State. Obaseki's camp posters have been positioned at different places in the state. Godwin Governor God, Governor Godwin Obaseki's strategy is clearly working with the recent announcement made by the chairman of the leader of the coalition of political parties, CPP, Honorable Collins Dara Ore, Orerwa, which confirmed that 35 registered and the recently deregistered political parties in Edo State have decided to work for the emergence of Godwin Obaseki as the next governor of the state. The decision of the coalition of political parties to join the campaign train of Governor Godwin Obaseki is a very positive development. Politics is a game of number. The party with the highest number of votes is the winner. The latest declaration of support by coalition of political parties in a do state is proof that Obaseki's strategy is effective. The Edo state election comes up by 19th of September, is it 19th or 20th of September? Okay, um, which year it's coming so very fast? Yes, 19th of September. Okay, this strategy, strategy is really working. I wish you it's really working because, well, like they always say, that everyone has a freedom of a association, and people always do the calculations and see where and how it's going to help them. Some calculate very well, some do not calculate very well. Some see, you know, a defense just looking at what could be happening. We've been seeing a lot of a defection from from parties to parties. We hear that uh, some people defer to APC and some are defecting back to PDP. Some of the PDP are complaining that uh, Obaseki did not treat them well and so uh, it cannot be trusted. So instead of them staying back with him in that party, they have to, they also go back to they want uh, they have to go back to APC, and some people in APC too are saying, oh, uh, they need to go back to PDP. So it's been like that, just like they always tell us that a uh, politics is a number of a game. I mean, yes, a uh, uh, the highest number of votes is the winner. I mean, the politics is a game of number. That is how it's been said that politics is a game of number. So the, the candidate with the highest number will definitely uh number of votes is always the winner. If you have the highest votes, you are always uh you are always the winner. If you don't have enough votes, then sorry. So at this point in time, it is not over until it is over. We'll continue to watch as the drama unfolds on a daily basis, whether the strategy is really working for me for now. I think it is too early to see whether the strategy is working or not because like they always say the end shall justify the means so let's keep our finger crossed. Obaseki is the victory forget that guy according to Ushumole. Needless to ask is ask this again it is a general opinion and a settled matter confirmed governor Godwin Obaseki of PDP will carry the day. Obaseki campaign team should rehearse and perfect plans for immediate swearing in of Obaseki as the next executive governor of a do state so shall it be. Uh, Eze Yamu left his uh, Kenal land and entered into desert. He transferred his victory to Obaseki. Governor Obaseki winning is for you, Kari Go. Hmm. Obaseki will win, of course. Really? God, mu God must win. With the happiness, I think Obaseki will carry the day. Our governor is going to win in all the local government areas of in Edo State. Obasaki has won the election already. There's no controversy. I am not a member of any party, but we vote for Obasaki to win the governorship election to enable him complete the project started. I pray. <laughs> God bless you for that. Continuity is the key. Godwin will win at all costs, or it will he will win everything. Uh, someone says, uh, Eze Yamu people very well that 
that Governor Baseki is eight years fully loan guarantee. Okay, okay, that Ezeyamu should be told hmm, that people are, are expecting Obaseki to spend eight years. That his eight years is 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 fully guaranteed, if only for the sake of kneeling the coffin of Godfatherism for the last time in Edo and a warning to other states, Obaseki must and should win. Which coalition who know that guy is looking for money and popularity, Obaseki will lose come September. That is what somebody believes here. And someone say, Edo no be legal, so make you mind yourself. Daydreamer, continue dreaming before your very eyes, Obaseki will win. Obaseki go must win. They are also want they also want to be part of those who will receive the money. The man is sharing. The PDP share money. Okay. Obaseki is in full. Obaseki is in full majority. He will definitely win. Money sharing is always alleged when it is PDP. But about the APC, uh, don't they, they don't they share money than can be imagined. They share money that can be imagined. Don't they share money because it's only PDP that uh, they always attach that statement to. That is what somebody is saying here. Yeah, that when it comes to PDP, it's always by sharing. But in the other party, they don't share money. Is that what they are telling us? If PDP is sharing money and what is APC sharing? Dollars and Prado jeeps. Okay. Uh, don't mind them, Jerry. Always saying PDP is sharing money. I wonder what do they share? What do they share? Do they share blood or do they share money? Ah, uh, the guy is looking for money. You, what? That is what is looking for. Nobody knows because under APC anything can happen. The big man from Kano is leading the campaign of APC with stolen dollars, and the chief Razi from Yamabo said that rigging is part of the game and that court belongs to them. Hmm. Okay, nothing will stop Isagi. Um, I really a coward. If so, thanks for remembering or reminding me of my name that I forgot. Obaseki, of course, is going to win. Apart from this, it's Supreme Court's order that the problem that is the problem where the fourth position is declared winner. The outcome is unpredictable. May the best candidate win. I think that's the best thing. May the best candidate will win. And let the people must do their own bits. The people must be do their own bits. In a situation where there is a, a, there's transparency, if there is fair, a, if if everything is going to be fair and if there is going to be transparent, good and fine. But in Nigeria, whether PDP or APC, it always goes it goes tough. It's always go tough. The end will definitely justify the means. Let's see what will happen. Let's see whether the Edo people will really come out in their numbers. Let's see whether people will not be intimidated to come out that very day because it is it goes beyond the campaign. It goes beyond forming party to join another party. But the main thing is that let people not be intimidated because a lot of people might have the mind to come out. But most of the time, the intimidation that usually follow it always discourage people not to come out. And you see that, oh, these people that have told us, they've told us that, yes, they're going to support us. But all of a sudden, the day of election, You'll be you'll be surprised because everybody will be looking at the situation uh, on ground to see whether some people or security people will be intimidating them. They know how they do it. They know how to twist all of these things. But if things are okay in some areas, they will experience peace. In some areas, you just hear that oh, some people are fighting. That day, by God's grace, everybody will be will be alive to witness all of these things because an election has been going on in this country, and we know how they have turned how to be a typical example was what happened in kogi state the last election it was something else it was something else it was really terrible and this and these are the people that will that will come out and say yes they voted for me this and this and that but we know how all of these things how they play out how they really play out so now defecting or forming party is not the end of it or so the ability for these people to come out to vote is what really matters so guys let us hear your opinion what do you think leave your comments respectfully in the comment section and let's have your take thank you very much for always being there bye